So UGEM asked me if I wanted to take a look at their new UFX Reverb plugin. And I thought, yes, it's what I do all day anyways. So let's do it. This is how it looks. This is how it sounds. I'm putting this on a dry U synth patch. Is this really a reverb plugin or should we consider this more a multi-effect plugin? The filter and finisher section right here I'm going to turn off for now. And we're just going to look at this white section of the plugin which only concerns the reverb. Right here we can choose the different modes. I'm just going to go through some of them. Down here is where you control the mix. I'm going to turn it all the way wet to start. And then we're going to listen to some of these controls. These are your standard size and timing controls. Over here we have controls to give it some more character with movement. And damping reduces the high end over time. We have ducking built in. Freeze. This is confusing to me, I don't know what's going on. Oh, now it's frozen, okay. Mmm, of course. You have to hit freeze while there is something in the reverb buffer. Where this plugin gets really interesting is with this filter and finisher section over there. Because that is what distinguishes this plugin from any other reverb plugin that you already know. This is kind of standard UGEM stuff, I think, with the finisher. We have finishes like this in U-Synth and Virtual Drummers, Virtual Bassists. Let's check out some of these creative presets. Let's listen to how this sounds on piano. Let's check out on an electric piano, Model T by Sampleson. Try it sounds like this. At first I was a bit skeptical about using this on drums, because these drum presets, they weren't really hitting it for me. Like. I compared it to M Turbo Verb by Melda, and I really like what I can get with this one. I think that sounds very good, but I was surprised to see that just with some tweaking of the room reverb, I can get something similar. That's pretty cool. So I'm not too sure if many people need another reverb plugin, but I think with these whole finisher sections and the nice preset selection, I really like the labeling of the folders. There is maybe room in the market for this. So 
Thanks you, Jem, for reaching out. They just sent me an NFR license. We didn't have any other contact than that. Hope this video helped you in your purchasing decision.